Hello ladies and gentlemen, today I want to talk about the greatest heist of all time. A heist so clean, a heist that's no risk and all reward, a heist that requires no work at all, the heist of of my own YouTube video. A few days ago, the target of this heist was out there in the open, ripe for the taken, and by that I mean I decided to upload a YouTube video. It was a 30 minute long video essay that I made entirely from scratch. I made every single little element of it. And it took me about three weeks in total without any sort of breaks whatsoever. I had a deadline to reach, so I didn't even take a break during Christmas day. It took me multiple days to script the whole thing, to edit this video once I was done filming it. Even the thumbnail took me a bunch of hours to make, but you know, it was fine, because I ended up making something that I was actually proud of. When I finished making this thing that I created from scratch, I was able, at the end of the day, to look at something that I made and was proud of, and let other people see that as well. I'd even go as far to say that, to me, that video felt like the best video I've ever made. Two days ago, I woke up to a lot of notifications on my phone. A lot of people letting me know that Hasana B, a really famous streamer, decided to react to my video, the one that I worked so much on, live on stream. And honestly, I found that to be really exciting. I personally watch Hassan's streams every now and again, so it was cool from that aspect, and it was also pretty beneficial for me. My video was now being viewed by tens of thousands of people live, who later on could and have checked out my channel right afterwards and subscribed. The stream involved him reacting to the takes that I made in the video, uh, saying some of his own, maybe disagreeing with me with some, uh, agreeing with a lot of them. Overall, he was very positive and nice to me. I don't know who this guy is, but I instantly like him, by the way. No, not because he's hot, you f And what can I say? I I'm, a, I'm a sucker for a good compliment. Obviously, it's fully understandable if other people would have a problem with something like this, but to me, a stream like this, whether it comes from Hassan or someone else, was fine. It was something that I consent to. What I'm not fine with, on the other hand, is this thing. Um, looks a bit familiar to you? <laughs> this video is a one hour long clip of Hassan's reaction to my video, but from first glance, you might not realize that that's the case. You might mistakenly think that Hassan decided to uh, take a dip in the uh, video essay scene. <laughs> I mean, it's definitely formatted like that's the case. Look at that title and thumbnail. Only a genius uh, could come up with that. <laughs> the whole thing was posted on a channel that is not owned by Hassan in any way. It was posted by this this shadowy, mysterious figure. A shadowy, mysterious figure that decided to completely rip me off while not even posting a link to my original video that this whole thing is based on. The title of it is just the same as mine. Yes, it does mention somewhere at the bottom that this is a reaction, but this is obviously not the first thing that you noticed. And the thumbnail... Jesus Christ, the, the thumbnail is just... It was just a crime. They they slapped Hassan's face on top of mine. I got Mike Wazowski'd. I got I got Mike Wazowski'd and my own video. And and they did it so badly as well. You can still see my shirt underneath him. The whole purpose of the way that this is formatted is to trick someone going through YouTube that Hassan decided to talk about how to radicalize a celebrity. Please ignore this less famous little piece of garbage that's hiding behind Hassan's huge muscle. In less than one day since that video was posted, it was already coming pretty close to passing my one in views. And why wouldn't it? It's perfect for the algorithm. Uh, they switched my face with Hassan's way more famous face. The video is twice the length of my one because it is a reaction at the end of the day. It makes sense that it would do better than mine. The YouTube algorithm doesn't care which one of us spent more time on the video, the guy who actually made the thing, or the person who downloaded a clip of someone else reacting to the thing that I made and posting it on their channel. It doesn't matter. If it presents itself in a more clickable way by having a more famous person attached to it, then that's all that matters. The reason I was a lot more fine with Hassan's reaction to my video on its own is that you click on Hassan's stream to watch Hassan. You don't click on it to watch someone talk about this topic. His reaction to my video was just one segment out of a nine hour long stream. But when you talk about this VOD channel, 
that's not really the case. This is a channel that's competing against my video, a video with the same topic, obviously, on the same platform as me in the exact same playing field. The people who clicked on that video is an audience which actively wants to hear more about this topic. This was evident by the fact that this was the best performing video that they posted this week out of like a billion uploads. While originally, I did consider staying quiet about this because I did get some traction from that video being uploaded. The more I thought about it, the more the whole thing just pissed me off. Like, yeah, traction is cool and all, but I don't know, it's, it's more than that. It's about my work and defending that and about other people's work as well. So I decided to do the heroic thing and I tweeted about it. The tweet at hand got quite a lot of traction. I said about what I was saying here, the person who posted the VOD of Hassan reacting to my video is about to overtake my own video and views, all off of stealing my title, my thumbnail, and the video I spent three weeks working on in one day. I got a lot of really nice replies to this tweet, but I also got some pretty interesting replies. People were telling me that this channel that posted that clip it's not like a fan channel at all. It's an actual business. Some people told me that this channel has copyright claimed other clip channels, which is insane. Here's the issue. There are not just one, but multiple channels that this dude has. They have stopped some of the Hassan Eclipse Industrial Complex channels from even operating because they maliciously copy strike them. Can you imagine? Hassan Abbe Compilations 1, 2, 3, Hassan Compilations 1, Hassan Compilation 275, Hassan Clips fans, Shane Gillis fans. So he's doing it to Shane Gillis. He's doing it to Come Town, I think. This is the same guy that probably did it to Come Town. He's doing it to XQC and he's doing it to myself and Moist Critical. The reason why he's able to do this with like 53 million total views by the way I just realized he literally wiped every come town channel from youtube a few months ago he's a menace they'll like literally take over the entire ecosystem they'll push everyone out and then they'll move on to the next meta it also seemed pretty clear that this person is also running moist criticals reaction channel uh since the thumbnails are formatted more or less the same way Ostanox, a youtuber who edits for hassan had the same thing happen to him as well stole his title and everything just slapped hassan's face on top of it and Ostanox later on replied to my tweet saying same here apparently this channel is not really a fan channel but part of a network of spam channels that try to monetize various streamers content what a fun little loophole they wouldn't repost my video or Ostanox's video directly on their channel but if the streamer is reacting to it then I guess it's fair game. Let's steal everything. Isn't that insane that someone, me, could spend 200 hours on a video and then some other third party, not the person who made the video, not the one who reacted to it, but some other shady figure can just download the reaction, post it on that channel, and then make probably a lot more money than I did considering the video is twice the length of it. I don't really care if this is a fan channel or not at all. This is a business, a pretty big one at that. Considering the amount of videos that they upload, they're making bank. They do it on a massive scale because a lot of streamers give this free reign to people to post whatever clip that they want. I was pretty angry about this whole situation, so I started planning this video that you're watching right now. Uh, I went to bed, I woke up, and again, Hassan was talking about me on his stream. The guy is obsessed. What can I say? Is this good? I release my IP for people to use, and there are bad faith actors who do awful like this. We are aware of the issue with this Vietnamese bot farm channel that has also been striking down other fan channels of mine. They do it with Moist as well. I'm working with YouTube to deal with them. Like Magic, a bit after this tweet was posted, this guy that I actually emailed twice during this whole situation finally replied to my email and took the video down. And isn't that just ridiculous? I had to, to make this big scene out of it tweet this thing out, get other YouTubers to support me and quote tweet the thing, which I do really appreciate. But it's just so silly that we had to go through this entire process just to make this one person, this one channel, out of a network of bot channels to stop stealing my stuff. Hassan, being the larger channel that he is, has a better connection with YouTube and a better ability to strike down videos like these. And... Uh, what a, what a messed up little system. I'm just a tiny little example in this huge, huge field. There are probably channels much smaller than mine who don't have this platform on another social media, uh, which they can make like this big fuss about this thing to get people to actually care about this 
thing that they made getting stolen like that. I think part of the reason as to why this gets exploited like that is that this whole thing is such a weird little gray area. I'm fine with Hassan or any other streamer talking about my thing in a way that's packaged as a reaction on a live stream. And Hassan is fine with other people uh, taking his live streams and posting that on YouTube in a way that's separate from my thing. So a third party takes that stream, steals my stuff, and posts that on YouTube. But I'm not fine with that. I'm not fine with someone completely ripping me off and competing against my video on the same playing field while doing literally zero work. And I don't want to make this absolutist claim to ban every person from reacting to my stuff or commenting on it or using any clips whatsoever. I don't want to do that. But maybe it is my lenientness <laughs> that allows that to be exploited. I don't know. I think that I will just keep looking at these things in a case-by-case -case scenario. But man, it, it just feels bad to know that this happens. It just feels bad to like... I, I want to keep making videos that require as much work as the last one. If not more, probably more. Uh, but I, I want to feel like this is happening at a platform that actually supports that. I don't know. If you want to check out the last video that I made, I did work on it a lot. You can do that. If you want to subscribe, that's also great. And my Patreon is right there in the description. This Thief channel is probably going to be making a lot more money than me this month. So, um, yeah, uh, feel free to check that out.